Today was a big day for Cincinnati because Verizon flipped the switch on true 5G cell service in 10 neighborhoods, including downtown OTR, Clifton, Walnut Hills and Newport, Kentucky. But you may still not be able to get it on your phone. And you know what? Some people still don't want it. These new cell towers on top of Great American Ballpark have just gone live and mean that Cincinnati finally has 5G ultra wideband cell service. Up, upper right hand corner, it says 5G UWB, UWB standing for ultra wideband. Verizon has just made Cincinnati the 34th city to have true 5G. You can watch 4K um, videos. You can download videos and episodes that used to take minutes and seconds. 5G is not yet available for iPhones. I want to go to speed test. Yep. But check out this comparison on two Androids outside Great American. A 4G phone in the left ran at 160 megabytes per second. The new 5G phone was eight times faster at almost 1,200 megabytes. Mm -hmm. So it's over 1,000 megabytes per second. Right. Now, the 5G rollout has been controversial, and the main reason, unlike 4G, 5G requires lots of mini towers on street corners, in parking lots, on office buildings, even in front of apartment buildings. Some um, say that they're going to be anywhere between every three to ten houses. Last year, Monique Mazenhalter and other Green Hills homeowners launched a petition drive to try to keep the towers off their streets. But they and other groups have found it very tough to fight the FCC, which is fast-tracking 5G rollout. And surveys show most phone customers like Laquan Cunningham want the speedier service. That kind of speed, that's great. Now, a Verizon spokesman Liz Maley tells me that Verizon is currently the only carrier with 5G in Cincinnati. She says other carriers may be offering expanded 4G, but not true 5G service. And again, Apple does not yet sell iPhones that work with 5G. That's expected with next year's iPhone 12. So don't waste your money.